Hi, today is February 7th, 2021, and I'm working on a case called uh, Nita Mary Mayo. She disappeared August 8th, 2005. Um, she lived in Hawthorne, Nevada. She had gone uh, to go shopping, and it involved her driving a uh, over a mountain range, a little t to the western side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, she had, a friend had planned to go with her. The friend called and canceled, but she decided to go anyway. She was 64 and an Aquarius. She was a, a nurse at a, a, a clinic and she had a fear of heights, according to her daughter. So when her vehicle was found at Donald's Vista, overlooking with very, it's bit, you know, very high and with a sheer drop, uh, it was a little unnerving because her mother uh, the daughter of, I don't have her name, but um, her daughter knew that her mother was had a fear of, that Nita had a fear of heights and this wouldn't be apparently an activity that she would be likely involved. Like as far as going anything more than maybe taking a picture, <clears throat> but she wouldn't have been one to get, take a, a gamble and let's say go to the edge or maybe where she could have fallen. Um, you know, she just was more sensible than that and didn't care for her, that kind of risk. So <clears throat> her mother's car is found, Nita's car is found at parked at this vista with her purse and the keys and um, the her phone inside. Her her car also had a touchpad um, key. So <clears throat> there's a little strangeness there. All of this, this so there was no loss of you no know, robbery or anything like that. The only thing appeared that to be missing was her camera. And um, there were dogs that were brought in and they could only like track her scent around the car. There wasn't, it didn't go beyond like over to another area to the lookout. It, it was apparently all around where her vehicle was found. So she must have gone there and gotten out. But what happened to her from there is a, a big question mark. She's never been found. Her family feel that it's foul play. Particularly her daughter seems to be um, the one that has been most active uh, in what I was reading over late, late last night, really early this morning. And the only question was that there was an odd situation with a patient who apparently had a bit of an obsession for her. Um, now, apparently, he seemed to know a lot about her mother, Nita, and <clears throat> seemed to be familiar with who she was as well. She drove down to confront this man um, who had made a statement of an odd statement that he'd heard that she'd been found. It was just a strange statement and stood out. So she confronted him and 
you know, she says that she didn't get very much, very far with him, you know, like anything about like further with where her mom might be or anything like that. But it's that's very unnerving. So they still don't know what happened to her. Now, as far as her marriage status, I'm I don't. Uh, find, couldn't find anything mentioning her um, being currently married at the time of her disappearance. I don't know anything about this, you know, that situation. She was a British national. I have no idea how long she'd been in the States. Um, but she had clearly been here a while because she had uh, an, a daughter. Um, and family that still want to know what happened to her. And that's kind of where the, the limit of information that I've been able to find. So I'm going to look at um, the patient uh, <clears throat> because his statement was weird. Now, was it just a weird statement or was this something else? So I'm asking the universe and my spiritual mentors, helpers, ancestors to help me read this accurately. And all my readings, please. <laughs> Did Nita um, meet her end by this patient that he took a lie detector apparently and he didn't didn't pass it. But you know, those things are not admissible in court. I don't know how I feel about them. I think that if somebody could be really nervous as well. So, and if somebody might have, let's say he's not mentally stable or has a problem in some capacity, but is innocent, you know, that there, I don't know. So I take those with a grain of salt, but, um, Apparently nothing further became of that. They just could not ever, I guess, link this individual, this patient that came to the clinic that she worked at. So that's kind of the limit of information. I will put uh, my sources in the description box. So I'm going to look and see, was it the patient? I kind of feel like that's gut level, like that's probably a red herring. But <clears throat> I don't want to decide too quickly yet. That's just my, my gut level intuition. Now I want to look at the cards and combine that with my intuition, how they make me feel. Let's see. Did this patient that seemed obsessed with Nita um, have anything to do with her end. The lovers. Now I had done just before I go on, I have done a reading but when I had it, I've got it complete and I may end up putting it in unless it's just redundant. Um, but after doing the reading, getting it all up, I went back to read up more on the case. And reading about the patient, because there was, I, I didn't have a great deal of information to start with, um, made me think of an angle that I, I hadn't looked at. 
and I wanted to be very sure before I um, frankly posted um, my reading because I wanted to look at this individual and see whether or not they would meet the person that I was seeing as involved because it was a bit skewed and I think I was a bit tired when I was doing the reading I had been doing readings most of the day Queen of Swords well this is her okay because she is and she wants to be read on I know it because last night well early this morning it's like the cards were clear but I just don't feel like I was able to be certain and I might have been overthinking some aspects so she's telling me this has to do with somebody that was in uh, I feel like that she actually had some kind of involvement with so I don't think so but this makes me feel like it's indicating it's someone that was more intimate more known to her and I did get that in the other reading Page of Cups. In fact, I think I got that one too. By the way, if you like this deck, now this is very quickly um, the Goth Mancy Tarot. And it is a collector's deck. So if you get it, open it from the bottom. Do not break the tab. <clears throat> anyway, sorry, I do tend to jump around a little bit. Five of Swords. So that is to do definitely with someone, and I got this as well. I cannot believe this. I am going to... Um, and put up both readings because I'm getting nearly the exact same cards nearly these two cards these three and maybe even in that first line anyway it's really give, giving me some uh, some vibes big time Let me just, one thing I have to do, you guys, that is driving me nuts for a continue. And I do apologize, but I cannot handle having dry hands. Air is very dry here. So, you can see those cards. We're looking at dealing with I feel like she was very communicative with to me last night even after I did that reading I was trying to do another reading on something more to do with uh, myself and it's, she popped back up and she showed me a, a way in which her body was handled um, where where the location that she's at it was just weird and it's the lake it is the lake Donald's Lake I believe um, so I want to make sure I add that in since I'm getting this again this makes me feel like there was an unanticipated surprise or an approach and by someone with bad intention and it's connected to an intimate or a love relationship potentially um, 
perhaps in her past. Getting those same cards. Page of Pentacles. Falling under the Lover's card. The Fool. The Four of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this tells me that there's more than one person involved in this. Okay, possibly up to three. And I, I'm feeling like this is a possible, to be honest, a hit. That whoever attacked her may have been hired or it may have been someone she had a past intimate or some kind of really close relationship with. Somebody that she was very bonded to. And this is her being taken to me off guard by surprise. She's just like, what? She's not expecting this. When I go vertically, it's telling me, and it told me this last night as well, that there's more than one person involved in this. And that would make sense, especially if, as the vibe I got, was someone having paid someone to do this. That's really the long and short of it. So I want to go very carefully because this lady just keeps coming to me. I mean, she's here again showing me, uh, she's like, she really wants this to, to be revealed. So she's talking about in this, this row, after being approached by intimidating looking, uh, I think a couple of men, um, I feel like she has no idea that she was in any kind of danger. Uh, yeah, I really get that she had no idea. And this is based on control. This is based on someone did this and, and also perhaps finances. I believe she was taken. Away from that area. This is to me them holding, taking, holding her all right there. Approaching her, she uh, didn't have a clue what was going on. I feel like somebody may have, again, there's this feeling that somebody had paid or made a beginning of a payment. Probably the feeling would be you get this much and then you would get more once you successfully did that because some kind of benefit or money would likely come in. That's what I got 
from my reading um, earlier. And I just want to see if it's going to repeat or not. The person who did this, it was a financial or a, an inheritance or an asset based motive. And they wanted her out of the way. That's what I saw. Four of Swords, I got this too. This was one of the cards that was in the with very first cards that I drew for her uh, in one of the readings that I did. I can't remember whether it's the one that, that we'll know. That I'm going to put up both of them. Somebody, yeah, put an installment down on her, I think, to be um the, with that four of swords is often about <clears throat> it can be like a tomb it can be like being buried frankly it can be about recovery somebody being so like in a sick and needing to recover and that still may have some sort of um, meaning yet <clears throat> in a way. Let's see, I didn't intend. Do I? Am I holding? Let me just check. Oh, I was holding the deck. On. High Priestess. So this is something. That may have been, there's definitely a secret around this, something that wasn't known. She definitely had no idea that somebody was going to do this. There's also a possibility that with that Fool card, I'm just feeling that she, <clears throat> oh, Nine of Swords, yeah, this is not looking. Somebody was very, again, She's been hidden. I'm, you know, I get that she was hidden in the lake, but in another reading, there's there's this part of feeling hidden. Let me just get the rest of this down. The bad habit of doing that. Knight of Cups, water again. Hmm. So it looks to me like we're we're looking at more than one person involved that that benefited from this the people that did it and the people that certainly were the person that hired um, I think, and I, I get this feeling they, they, there's a smaller payment here, and uh, to, with that four pentacles, take hold of her, get hold of her, and it's weird, we have the three and the four of pentacles there. To this person, um, there was some kind of worry that they had, some kind of anxiety over her being, I, I feel like being a, um, that successfully going through and happening. It also shows me that the intent of the approach was 
based on somebody else's anxiety to take and 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 to t to take her and there's more than one person involved so i don't think it was probably the patient unless he <clears throat> has some kind of money and be able to benefit off of this in some way. There is some kind of, uh, when I go down this way with the fool and the high priestess, <clears throat> she may not have been a, uh, maybe may not have been aware definitely there's something about her not being obviously aware that somebody was looking to do her in is what I'm getting and I don't know if what her background is if she had a father that had money or left her some money but I did in the last reading get like the emperor kept coming up and that's why I was thinking is this a husband that did this what is uh, or a, I kept getting a husband wife message and I couldn't at the time be certain if it was trying to signal her relationship and the, with the nature of the of the person the nature of the relationship of the person that did what they did or if, you know, it was something else. There's a deep twist with this, but it's something that's pretty obvious. I, my gut feeling is her family, her daughter probably has a good idea, but can't and won't publicly say <clears throat> um she and, and i i think she probably has a hunch and even she said that the patient could be a red herring i don't believe it is the patient i believe that she's correct i believe it is connected to more of a love relationship frankly and there may have been some kind of contract here taken out, whether it was insurance or some kind of benefit. I don't know. This could also indicate contract kind of literally like someone hired someone to, like I said, what I feel, uh, get hold of her and make her disappear. Yeah. They just wanted her to disappear. Because they wanted some kind of financial It could have been somebody that she had a financial connection to through, I don't know if it was family or not. It kind of indicated that, and that's why it was so confusing to me. Is this a will? Whose will is it? Um, and somebody definitely wanted her out of the way to collect some kind of benefit. And it was felt financial. Now, who that could be in her life and in an intimate relationship, that's why I was curious about who's the husband. Because this a boyfriend, somebody maybe that she had and took it out on her. She maybe forgot about it or didn't, you know, didn't know, didn't expect this. But somebody was needing money is what I get. And this was to them an acceptable... <clears throat> thing to do Be and it was all about it looks like to me money this financially motivated person 
it could be a situation where if she was out of the way, um, somebody else would collect in her place some kind of benefit? I don't know. That There's something around that. And this one especially makes me feel like the issue, again, with the water. Um, this to me is being laid to rest or put to rest. Um, and not just that she's there, she's just not visible to the eye. There's a lot of anxiety here and worry, I think, by the person that responsible that she would be found. So I feel like there was put him in put her in the lake is what I, I kept getting that. Put her in water, put her in the lake. And um I got this sense last night that she was like I was in a kind of dry uh, kind of humor way I was made like an offering they put me in the lake and that's when I begin to read also after I did that reading why it triggered me to read more after I'd already done it and found out that there were other people um, that had died in weird circumstances but one of them I feel like is just a suicide um, the other one I'm not so sure if they're if they are connected this to me feels again this was a personal thing between her and someone else she wasn't even aware that this person I don't even think it was on her radar that this person was up to this clearly and she in, in, indicates as much and she's just suddenly approached by people she doesn't know, and I get they are um, possibly uh, it could have been a, a female and a couple of men, or I, I just wasn't sure, because I, I got so many different cards. It was like she was trying to tell me so many different things, and she was indicating that there were... Uh, two other women with her and when I get that in a reading on people it means that in the vicinity of where her body's been put, placed there are others uh, there too that haven't been found that are there and I believe one of the cases was the woman that committed suicide um, body's never been recovered and she said she was going to quote unquote put her toes in the water or something like that um, I'm not sure but I feel like there's this lake it's known apparently uh, to have some strange activity with people using it in this manner as one often does with a significant body of water people do it near where I'm at too um, unfortunately they make you know so I feel like she's in water I feel like she's in that lake seven of cups again more water and this is about keeping things the picture kind of muddled, keeping things obscured. And that there's just also just so many possible again with the cups. Seven and nine of cups. She's definitely indicating water. And that this person, I feel like as well, is living very well got what they wanted, feel satisfied. They felt like he, her out of the picture gave them more 
<clears throat> more options, <clears throat> frankly, of what they could do. But there's deception, and there is darkness with them. Very dark path. And it shows that they've been in a position to, I feel like, keep out of being, um, off, it's like they've been kept off, they've been able to keep off the radar. Queen of Pentacles and a Two of Wands. This is a woman that's been communicating. I wonder if this is the daughter, maybe? I feel like on social media or making phone calls, um, trying to get public awareness, making a bit of a noise, if you will. And the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. So this is an initiation of activity being kicked off again and perhaps renewal of searching. Yeah searching with that page of swords and the chariot this could be success let's just see or a vehicle ace of cups i think it's success there's a lot of emotion around that and again water Three of Wands. They just need to expand an area, I think, where they've been looking. And Six of Swords. Again, we get the water again, and but this time it shows and indicates going from a time of just um, disruption and chaos toward calmer, clearer, Water. So I think she could end up being found, but I think she's in water in that lake, and I, I think somebody had her done her way with who would benefit um, financially with inheritance or possibly some sort of that kind of contract will. Yes, we get the sun, so that makes me feel like, and five of pentacles, yeah, it's revealing somebody that may not have had that great of health, may not have also had that great of <clears throat> um, finances. This is being on an outsider kind of a level and that says the rat cave behind that um, this person felt rejected but also I think it, again it's highlighting that it's to gain financially and to gain more control within connection to, I believe, some kind of will, asset, inheritance. Eight of Wands, activity picks up, Wheel of Fortune, things get moving. Five of Cups, there is loss, regret, and Two of Cups. Again, this was somebody she knew and was closely associated with. Um, look at that. Six of Cups, Five of Wands. Looks like somebody at... a. a
oddly enough, I feel like a graveyard with that. But this is something about the past anyway, and there's something that they thought about. Somebody she once was very close to, that she had a falling out with, that was perhaps once in a intimate relationship. Again, close relationship. Possibly this King of Cups. And here's that family connection again. The Ten of Cups. So I, I feel like this is an intimate partner connected, I would say, connected to an intimate, former intimate partner that may have had some sort of benefit that she may not have been aware of yet and they look like they wanted the money and this was really dispassionately done it was is like cashing in a ticket to them so I'm going to leave that right there and I've this is just about as long as the, the prior reading. So these two I will put up and you guys can watch if you want to and comment. If you like this um, content please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. I thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.